everyone welcome to my channel i'm sherry and this is chelsea i have another special guest today and i haven't been showing you but you know about the tote bag and the draw so you have to leave comments below and chelsea very kindly brought one of her necklaces that she sells and it's a pumpkin and jingles. It's very cute. So that's going to be one of the prizes in the tote bag draw. So make sure you leave a comment because this is really nice and really cute. And it'll make a lovely gift for someone. So Chelsea, tell everyone about your business. Your business is called The Crypt Limited. Yeah, um, so I just launched October 25th and I create alternative fashions and accessories. So that is everything ranging between goth, emo, punk, grunge, basically you name it and I can do it. Um, we focus mainly on uh, vinyl prints right now. I will eventually be getting into creating um, custom made and upcycled clothing. Uh, so basically I take things from thrift stores, tear them apart and make something new and give it a second life. Everybody loves doing that recycling old clothes and all us sewists do it all the time. <laughs> So Chelsea has a lot of interesting gift ideas on her website. She has a lot of jewelry and she has some really nice sweatshirts and things. So yeah, check it out. A great place to buy gifts. Do you ship across Canada? And For right now, uh, we do shipping all across Canada. Um, the next couple of years, we'll be expanding it into the States. So okay. pretty excited for that. So check out her website and I will leave all the her information below. So Chelsea is here today. She is taking part in our homemade Christmas series and she just gave us a lovely gift. I showed you that. And now she's going to give us a Christmas idea, Christmas yeah. decorating idea. I think she is making a wreath. Yeah. So you tell everybody what you are going to make. All right, so I'm starting with a basic wreath um, and I'm throwing in a couple of my favorite colors. Um, so I've got like some purples that kind of match up with my logo colors. Uh, I have some nice silvers and of course my favorite color is black. So I have some black garland to use and uh it's sparkly too yeah throwing in some ribbon as well and uh just gonna get creative with it and make something that uh so did you buy this wreath this way or did you put the stuff on and it? it's uh... uh it was pretty easy to find i just went to the local craft store michael's um they love me there because i spend all my money there <laughs> <laughs> and i just bought it as it is, I think it was ten dollars, so not too bad. So this wreath will last you forever. Yeah. You just gotta wrap it up and pack it away if you, unless you want it up all year round, which yeah. you can do. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll last you forever. Okay. All right. I shall not interfere anymore, and let's see, Chelsea, go. All right. And you have to bear with me because I, uh, I didn't do any trial runs of this. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in uh, doing it once and making mistakes that others can learn from. So you're going to put your color, background color, your, oh, I can't think words. They're garland. hard. Garland. <laughs> I'm going to put the garland on around it first. Uh, and then add the decorations and the ribbon afterwards. I just find that's going to be the easiest way to do it. That way you're not covering up all the colors that you're putting on that at last. Mm -hmm. 
So what's some of your favorite Christmas traditions? Oh, favorite Christmas traditions. So every year since I was, I think, two years old, me and my mom uh, get some hot chocolate, throw some eggnog in it, and we um, go out and we look at all the Christmas lights that people put out. So uh, that's one of them. Every year I try to watch The Grinch. Um, um, yes. That's probably one of my favorite Christmas movies. Nightmare Before Christmas, it's one of my favorites. Um, it works for Halloween, works for Christmas. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. I get to watch it two or three times a year. Me and Chelsea used to work together. Yeah, that was and, uh, a fun time. <laughs> she could probably tell stories about what I'm like to work with, maybe. But don't. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't to some people. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> I don't think. It's some people, she said. Yeah. Some people are easier to work with than others. You were always pleasant to work with, so. Oh, she's just being nice now. <laughs> All right. So now that I've got the garland on there, I like to do things a little messy, but this is how it looks. And you could use that with any color gar garland. Yeah, you could do it with yeah. silver, gold, purple, blue, pink. Yes, pick, pick your favorite color. Whatever color is trending that year, if you're one of those people that likes to follow the trends. Yeah. Yeah, you see a lot of people do turquoise, which yeah. you don't really think as being a Christmas traditional color. Christmas color like red or green or gold or... Yeah. So now I'm just going to throw in little splashes of color. So those have wire on the end of them. Yeah, so it's easy to just kind of wrap them around the backing of the wreath. So you're just securing them. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold that up. Yeah. So she's just putting on, uh, maybe I can hold it while you put on the next one so they can see maybe. Yeah. So basically the wire just goes right in and I feel for it around the back and then I just wrap it back around through the wire. Just so it doesn't fall off. Yeah. Wing catch it and yeah. flying. That's going to look nice. Pretty color. Yeah. It's almost like a pinkish purpley color. Yeah. Pinky fuchsia. Would you call it that color? Fuchsia. It's pretty. Magenta. Yeah. Oh, and you're going shiny and matte. Mm. Yeah. That's going to look nice. My grandmother was always very particular about her Christmas tree. You could never have the same thing too close together. and <laughs> It was always a time. <laughs> And the lights had to be on every single branch of the tree, so. It's uh, a good thing that she doesn't look at mine then. <laughs> or mine. Because <laughs> it's uh, kind of thrown together. I'm a lot like my mom. If my tree is in the corner of a house, then only about half of the tree gets lights because why would you put them on the back where nobody can see them? <laughs> Just makes no sense to me. Everybody does it their own way. Yeah. It's going a lot faster than I was expecting, so I'm happy with that. I'm surprised we don't have uh, Remy up here trying to play with their shiny things. Yes, she was playing with the, trying to get the necklace that was jingling. The pumpkin jingle necklace, because uh, 
She thought it was a toy. <laughs> anyway, we rescued it before she started taking it. So now she's adding on the, the she has ones. two different sizes, so she's adding on the bigger ones now. It's going to look nice. Yeah. I finished making my bow and I just took another small piece of fabric that I wanted to use and I hot glued it around the middle of the bow. I basically just slipped the wire through the bells and I just twisted it a couple of times just to make sure that they stay together. That is really cute. I love, I love it. And it's a very simple, easy thing to make. You can put it on your door, on your bedroom door. Yeah. Any door, really. And uh, it also make a really nice gift for some. It's really nice of Chelsea to come here and make this very pretty wreath with us. And thank you. No problem. And yeah, thank you for having me out here. It's a nice little place. Lots of fabric to work with back here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.